the market opens up and everything's going well. You've done your market prep and, oh, first loss. Okay, whoop, second loss. All right, oh, fourth loss. Wait a minute, things are getting a little hot. Just take the jacket off, it's no big deal. Oh, fifth loss. Wait a minute, this is getting a little, oh, oh my goodness. You begin to realize that the past week worth of work has now been flushed down the toilet in mere moments. Maybe you need to change something. Absolutely, you need to change something. You need to figure out how to have better discipline. Okay, maybe that section was a little dramatic, but you get the point. And I'm not trying to say that you need to delete all your favorite apps on your phone in order to keep this whole discipline practice thing going. All I'm saying is all of us need to have a little bit better discipline in order to be the best possible traders that we can be. And this video is really centered around trying to share with you guys how I improved my trading, how I built a better discipline process to become profitable. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you three keys, not one, not two, but three keys to show you different things that you can do to be better every single day. And I think the best way to start off with that is understanding that you need to have the best possible preparation. Every time you press buy or sell, every time you have there's a market order or a limit order, you are playing against normal guys like me and massive banks like Goldman Sachs that have billions of dollars at their disposal and are trying to make different things happen than you. Not everyone's a scalper, not everyone's a day trader, not, not everyone's trying to swing. You have massive companies hedging, you have massive companies making acquisitions, trying to short sell GameStop. There are so many different things going on and they're beyond our control. We have to constantly remind ourselves of that fact. Preparation puts up guardrails on ourselves, which I believe is the first stage of discipline. There are three components that fit really nicely in the preparation. Before any market opens, before any buying, before any selling, we need to make sure that we prepare our mind, body, and our soul. I think everything should start off with the body. You know, obviously there are numerous benefits to working out, but some of the most important for traders are the idea that working out consistently just two to three times a week can improve your cognitive abilities, reduce stress, and reduce your exposure to things like depression. I don't know about you, but after placing five or six trades that have lost time and time and death time again, depression gets all of a sudden a lot closer than it used to be. The next piece of the puzzle is a little simpler, the mind and the soul. In my opinion, these things are intertwined and what I do to prepare them is incredibly similar. I journal. When you write, you're allowing your ideas to be trapped on paper, as Tim Ferriss would say. You want to trap these things on paper so that they can prove themselves to be right or wrong. After continually doing this process, you're able to build up data as well to where you can start looking at your trading performance and asking yourself, did I lose this trade just because the system wasn't working or did I lose this trade because I had a bad plan and I need to fix it? Doing things like this are incredibly important for your preparation. I know what you might be thinking, Aaron, you know, I'm not really much of a writer. That's fine. The other half of what I do is for you then. When I'm preparing mind, body, and soul, one thing that I'm doing for my journaling when I'm actually trading is I'm talking aloud. Obviously, I talk aloud on stream when I talk about the trades that I'm trying to take. I let you know when I'm in on something. I try to give you the analysis as things are happening. But when I'm not trading on stream, I do the very same. I screen record myself and the chart as everything is happening. And I talk myself through the trade. By writing things down or saying them aloud, you're making them more of a reality. You're challenging your thoughts and you're talking or walking yourself through your trades. By journaling about your market decisions before you actually make any market decisions, you're consistently putting yourself in a position to make the trades you want to make before the stress of the market hits you over the head. Everyone is the best trader in the world when it's in sim, but when the real life market hits you over the head with an incredible amount of data all at once, sometimes we lose a little bit of focus and we might take a trade in an area that we probably shouldn't have taken a trade in. Well, if you write it down beforehand, if you vocalize it beforehand and you're recording these things, you're making a bit of a contract with yourself. Better yet, 
If you record these things by writing them down or recording them, and then you share them in a community, in a Discord, on X or Twitter or whatever they're calling it, on Facebook or what have you, if you're doing these things and you're creating a social contract for yourself, then that's going to be one more layer of difficulty you're going to have to get through if you want to make bad decisions. So if you know you have a profitable system and you just need to be a bit more disciplined in preparing to take the trades that you want to take, make sure you're journaling about these trades, journaling about these ideas, journaling about how you feel about all of these things. Because putting the simple pen to pad or vocalizing what you're thinking about is such an incredible way to create a contract with yourself. And that's what you want if you want to be successful. There are a plethora of studies that show that those people that journal and are looking to perform at high levels of efficiency and proficiency are able to think clearer, make better decisions, and make those better decisions faster in the moment because you've already gotten all of the mess and the cloudiness, the fog out of your mind and have put them to paper. And remember, don't just stop there. Don't just write a little bit about the levels. 18,000 is super important in the NASDAQ. 4,000 is super important in the S&P. What you need to do is write about how you're feeling through all of these experiences. I know it sounds like mumbo jumbo, but there's way too much science talking about how well people that write about how they feel do in the long run in very stressful situations for us to ignore it. We have no choice as traders. Again, we have to get every leg up that we can to perform well. Always remember to prepare. Number two, clutter, it creates costly mistakes. I don't know about you, but nothing's worse than waking up in the morning, going downstairs to make your coffee or drink your Red Bull or whatever you do, just to realize that your, your kitchen's a mess. Well, believe it or not, that messy kitchen that messy, de that messy desk where you do all of your trading, that can also affect your cognitive performance and lessen your ability to be more disciplined. The more clutter you have around you, the more mess, the more dirty dishes, uh, the more unfolded laundry, the, the harder it is for you to think clearly. The more difficult it is for you to think clearly, the more difficult it is for you to stick to your plans, to do what you said you were going to do, the easier it is for you to get out of line with what you originally said you were going to be doing. And so before any market opens, before any market closes, before you analyze any charts, you need to make sure your, your place is clean. Of course, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to clean every inch of your house, but you have to clean the surrounding area. You guys can see a little bit of my apartment behind me, but I kind of live, I live in a bit of a studio. So when you're looking at my place, my trading desk is actually right adjacent to my kitchen. So whenever a bad trade goes poorly and I look over to my left, I see my kitchen. And if my kitchen is in, is in bad shape, it doesn't do any wonders for my mental clarity. One of the keys to discipline is making sure that you're as clear as possible on what you're doing and as clear as possible under incredibly stressful situations. If you're in a beautiful trade that you really need to take to take profit and you're starting to feel a little bit antsy, It'll be easier for you to do that if you're not kicking a full garbage can underneath your desk or if you're not looking off to the right, looking off to the left and seeing other things that you need to do. A study done over at Princeton University compared the impact of living in a cluttered space versus a more organized space. The study found that the more visual stimuli you have in your surrounding area, the more unfolded laundry, the more shoes on a desk, the more papers that need to be filed that are around you, the harder it is for your brain to focus and process complex information. All of this visual stimuli can negatively affect our ability to focus at the highest level cognitively. And that's exactly what we need as traders to perform at our highest cognitive level. 
So if you have some clutter around your desk, if you have some dishes in the sink and you sit next to your kitchen, you should probably get that done before you place any trades. The third piece of this puzzle, scheduling. Routines and scheduling are incredibly beneficial for our mental health as well. I'm sure if you've been on YouTube for anything more than 15 and a half seconds, I'm sure you've heard that before, but for traders, it is absolutely paramount. Look guys, I don't get anything done unless it's in my schedule, unless I'm getting constant reminders from my phone and my computer and my tablet that hey, I have to do a thing because I have all these reminders and because I have a set routine, it's easier for me to do all of those positive review things that we were talking about. Remember that journaling thing that I mentioned earlier? Remember that workout thing that I mentioned earlier? Yeah, those are in my Google Calendar and I get constant reminders that I have to do these things. I have to be at the gym at X time. Jiu-Jitsu start 6 a.m. on Mondays. I gotta be there. When I start allowing my schedule to get out of my hands, I also allow for my mental clarity to start getting out of my hands. And don't take my word for it, guys. Take it from licensed doctor and professor over at the Department of Psychiatry. He's actually the chair of the Department of Psychiatry over at Jersey Shore University. He writes, while many of us complain about how busy our schedules are, it represents expectations and patterns that are important component of good mental health. We, we have to have these routines. We have to have these reminders and we have to use the tools that we have readily available to us to help us to keep this discipline. We cannot stay disciplined by sheer force of will. We have to use those things around us to help us to do these things. That's all I got for you. I hope you can get something out of this. I hope you find something that you can do today to improve your trading. If you like this kind of content, please press that like button, subscribe below. We will be ecstatic to see you come back to this channel, come back to the charts, trade to the best of your ability, and always trade well, trade delicious. We'll see you.